Hey guys, Alex coming at you on the Great Wellness Wednesday today. It's the first of the month, you know what that means. Brand new program. We're getting in with Super September. Today I'm gonna to be going over what is a Super Set, how are we gonna be doing them, and why we're doing them. A lot of interesting things today, but I'm gonna make it quick, short, we'll get right into it. All right, so first and foremost, what is a Super Set? A Super Set is actually two or more exercises with a similar joint dynamic. Now this is normally performed back to back, usually in rapid concession with minimal to no rest in between. Now the best part about this is we can mix and match so many different exercise and exercise types together. Now normally we will train a push day, a pull day, uh, accessory day, things like that. Now this is called training agonistic muscle groups. During a motion we have two different groupings of muscles. We either have an agonist or an antagonist grouping of muscles. Now say for a push day, a push, those agonist muscles, so meaning the main movers that are pushing are gonna be the chest and the triceps. So when we're doing a push up, I am pushing away from my body, my triceps are extending my arms, my chest here is pushing that away from my chest here. Now the antagonist muscle groups are gonna be the opposite muscles of those. That being that return back here, I am shortening or contracting that bicep. So that bicep being an antagonist muscle, as well as a good squeeze in my upper back, that back and by being the antagonistic muscle group in this motion. So again, agonist being the action portion, tricep and chest, and then the antagonist being the opposite portion there, biceps and back. As I mentioned, we can kind of mix and match how we want with these exercises. As long as they're within the similar joint dynamic, we can put them together. For example, with a barbell row, we're leaning over, we have a good squeeze in that upper back. That's gonna be our agonist muscle group. Now, that bend in the elbow coming on up, we're getting a little bit into those biceps. So, we're gonna be training into the antagonist on that opposite end. So, antagonist being that tricep. So, that supporting exercise is gonna be skull crushers, for example. So, traditionally, the first exercise is gonna be a strength or power exercise. So, for example, for that barbell row, we may go only five reps on it, relatively heavy. Now the second exercise is gonna be a stability and or muscle endurance exercise. This will normally be performed in a less stable environment. So again, with those skull crushers, we have one dumbbell in each hand. Rather than having one heavy dumbbell uh, grasped by both hands, I would rather have one weight in each hand. This is gonna be much more unstable and really help with that joint stability. Now what we're trying to do is primarily work predominant movers in that first exercise to elicit a prime mover strength. Then we move to a more challenging, more stability and posture control type exercise. What this is gonna do is produce more of an increase in muscular endurance, joint stability, and overall ideal posture. So let's go a little bit over how this month is gonna be structured. Now here at Maximize Potential, we normally will do supersets, whether it be two exercises or three exercises. Well, this month we're kicking it up a notch and we're introducing a four exercise superset. Now this superset is gonna involve a lot of different muscles, a lot of different groupings, but this is where the minimal rest comes into play. Because we are gonna be training primarily antagonistic muscle groups, we are not really gonna be fatiguing in the same areas as we normally would. So we can bust through four exercises back to back to back to back with minimal fatigue. I shouldn't say minimal. Our heart rate is still gonna be going up and we should be maintaining a rather high heart rate. That being said, always watch yourself. Remember to come to class well hydrated and fuel up before we get here. Anyway guys, that's all I've got for us today. Just a little bit of an educational piece, what we've got looking forward for the upcoming month. This is always a conversation, so go ahead, leave a like, leave a comment down below. It really helps us out a lot. But other than that, be good, drink some water, and I'll see you on the next one.